My life just slowly ticks away, bit by bit. Copper ore to copper bar, bit by bit. My life is just slowly, slowly withering and dying away. The things I do for achievements. Hello again. My name is Atratsu, and today we're going to have a look at Junk Jack. And my dyslexia jumps in and I mix those two words and mix them backwards. I'm not going to say because it sounds dirty. Junk Jack is a creative crafting based 2D adventure platformer indie game. Choose any of those tags that you prefer. Developed by Pixel Bits and released November 30th, 2016. And it's priced at $14.99 or your regional equivalent. A friend of mine actually sent me this game and she's going to be very interested in learning all of my tricks that I have spoken about and demonstrating. But we'll talk about more advanced stuff from progressing through the game later on in this video. Probably the, I don't know, maybe the final half the final three-fourths I don't know I have a lot to say about the game as far as end the end is concerned but for those that don't know how the game works let's start out with just like a kind of a basic principle oh let's bring this up here no 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 no, no. I w there's a specific message I want where is it The closest thing to compare Junk Jack to is Terraria and Minecraft. Terraria is a bit of a closer example, but there's a lot of different things that set Junk Jack apart. So Terraria is a good example. When I describe this game or compare this game to Terraria though, I'd say that Terraria is a much more polished game. Whereas this game and Starbound and any other offshoot game that's kind of trying to follow in Terraria's blazing success, it's a little bit more difficult because it's just not as polished, but that doesn't mean that there isn't anything to drag people into this game. There is a crazy amount of stuff to do in this game. One that's easily going to eat up 250 hours, but we'll talk about that in a, in a little bit. First, let's just talk about how you make a character. So normally you don't have this little bubble thing going up over here being like, hey, how's it going? So you can go in here, you would choose that. You would normally have world or new game or something like that that would be here. When you create a world and you create a character, you can just click continue and you jump into the world that you want. At uh, character creation, you jump in, you choose your gender, which I assume would make a different noise when you're hit. I don't know. Kind of ignored that. You have hairstyles, hair colors, skin tones, shirts, pants, the option for hardcore or not to hardcore. And you name yourself up here. This is a name and then you save and you go about your merry way. But I took the liberty of making that. So I made Atrabloxu. Now this is my main character, Atratsu. We'll talk about that one later and the type of gear that he has in another time. Then you can choose between worlds. And so I've got the Atraverse, which is the one that I'm currently working on where I've progressed really far into it. And you can load into that just like you would in, in Terraria. So that's useful. But then you have video recording, which is a fresh new planet. So new character, new planet, kind of a good place to start to explain things to people. Also, there are two crafting modes. Let's switch it back to the simple crafting for now. I would recommend getting away from simple crafting as soon as possible. I didn't really play around with the difficulty, continuous time. I didn't play around with the settings too much, although I did turn off simple crafting because it's so much easier to craft without it if you know what you're making, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit too. So for the past several 50 hours or so that I've played, I've actually been playing on simple crafting and I've just recently switched over as I've started to work on achievements. All right, let's jump into the video recording planet, play. Now if we go back, you can jump into continue. I also notice you got the achievement pane. These are all synced up to your Steam achievements and they reset based on each character that you have. So that's kind of nice. So you can go about and getting more achievements. As you are in any single game, you get s you start out and you need to chop down trees by hand by punching it. So this much is very similar in field to Terraria. You look, you click, 
any whap 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 down. You're like, oh, I don't like this dirt here. I'm gonna punch this dirt until it dies and gets in my pocket. Minecraft, Terraria, very common themes. Flowers, grass. Can we punch a pig? I've never actually tried that. Come here, you. No, you can't. Then, of course, this is coal. You could probably figure that out for yourself. As in any type of game like this, the first thing that you need to do is build shelters, crafting benches, and stuff like that. In this mode, you choose what you want to craft with. You can't craft with any of these until you craft them. There is a tutorial button here, which I did follow. And then after kind of getting the ba basic gist, I then moved on to the wiki site to follow what else was going on here. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, we, I guess speaking of the basics, the controls are pretty straightforward. I'm using a keyboard and mouse. I do think that this would work with a controller, but I'm not 100% sure. I really don't care. I don't play. I don't like playing with a controller. So I move around with good old Wasid. So D to go right, A to go left, S to go down, W to go up, and up and down are only important if you're going up and down ladders or swimming. And then space bar to jump, and we'll talk about, is there any water? Here, there's water nearby. M to open up your map. I never use B, I switch over to E. E for inventory, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that E is inventory. I doesn't do you any good. You just get used to hitting E because it's just like right next to your W key. So you just kind of get used to it. So down, I don't really push down at all. So I just kind of use W, A, D. So no A, S, D. There's no S. So that's down. W to go up. Then you can swim at the surface of the water, but unless you space bar, you can't get out of the water. Okay, so first things first, let's craft ourselves a bench. I'm going to hit E. You could click on click down here too these are the buttons in case you need it to explain the user interface for those of you that don't know anything about video games green bar up here is your health the blue bar is your breath you can click up here to see your stats I blatantly ignored these this might have explained what my gear was doing I just stuck with simple if you've been around and seen many of my videos you know I really don't care to number crunch too much and I'm just like hmm this set has more numbers than the other numbers well I think I'm just going to equip, equip these and it will, it will call it good and we'll move on with our lives because I've got things to do and math not to do as well I want to just ignore those thank you have a good day so buttons here inventory or you can press E crafting or is it, what's it what is it what is what is this I'm trying oh yeah so that was T to talk and come on I thought there was a button here was it I B not B get out of here right so if you want to use that for I guess B for build T for talk and then M for get out of here M for map and then in this mode you right click and then you can move around if you're in this zoomed mode you cannot click to move around you right click and then you move around and you can use this to see what's going on here something that's important to point out is that I don't think that the world the world might be generated beyond to this point but it's undiscovered you haven't found anything and as you can see you don't know if there's any minerals down here until you've explored it and set up torches also the world adjusts based on day or night cycles alright back on track though let's craft ourselves a workbench on easy crafting, once you have the recipe, you go here, you click it, and then this crafts it. It gives you a short amount of time to figure out what you're doing. So this is probably, if it was a controller, this would be the easiest controls for that. So you craft a workbench. We'll probably get it an achievement. And there's the achievement. Open up that workbench. Put it down. Now you can craft yourself various items in here. You can click on these to see what you need for that. So we need sticks sticks we can make by hand so let's just make some sticks that gives us two sticks we go over here I thought we had enough for a bed what oh I get it we have enough for a bed except for we only have one leaf not enough leaves so let's let's make a pickaxe like we would in any game all right let's make one of these guys all right Yay for our first pickaxe. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. We're going to mine down here. Get cobblestone because I'm impatient and do not like waiting. And this much, again, 
will feel very familiar to anyone who has played Minecraft or Terraria. This is just how it goes. Let's also demonstrate what happens when you start to drown. So, the blue bar is ticking down. Okay, we should take a hit here soon. And I'm going to get out of the water. It takes ten hits at a time. You also don't regenerate your health points on normal difficulty, I believe. Let's see here. Gameplay, difficulty. Yeah, I can't change the difficulty. I'm on normal difficulty, I believe. You can have it uh, more or less. I think on easier difficulties, your health regenerates, but I just leave it on normal because, again, just can't be bothered. Don't feel like it. These are the saplings instead of seeds that you use to replant. Okay, so now we have enough to build a... Why did I go all the way over here? Oh, we got to make sticks. Got to make sticks. We'll make a stick. Now we can make stone pickaxe which will let us do this a little bit faster let's make a stick again and let's make uh, an axe do we have enough for one more yes we do for a shovel so these are also giving you the idea of what you would do so ta-da we've now done it by jove we've done it so if you ever want to get rid of stuff you could click and throw it away but it'll bounce back into your inventory like that so if you want to get rid of something you go here, you click it over there, and then you get rid of it for good. You may or may not want to do that. Depends on what your use is. If you want to delete many things, you can click on this and then click across here, and then that'll delete those items after you then confirm it by clicking again. I don't want to do that right now. I want to chop down some trees. So this should be noticeably faster already for chopping down trees than before. Pro tip though, in this game, You'll notice that there is durability on weapons and thankfully not armor. There's durability on weapons and tools, which I was not enthusiastic to come back to, especially considering Minecraft is a 3D game that has weapon durability on it, whereas Terraria is a 2D game which does not have any weapon durability on it, which makes it a little bit easier, ease of use. I like, I like not having to worry that I'm going to have stuff die on me. But there is one really nice advantage to the way that this is set up. And we shall show that in a second. Let me, let me just speed on over to get us a cobblestone spot. So we dig here. Dig here. Now would be a good time to demonstrate how to craft torches. Ta-da! You have to have sticks and then you do that to make torches. Ta-da! All these achievements. I forgot all these achievements that you get your first time playing. It's great. Just have to dig just a little bit deeper, I think. Get out of here. Also, notice that I'm using the specific tool for the job, just like in Minecraft. It's needed. If I tried to do it with, like, a sh a an axe, for example, this takes a long time. It's doable, but at that point, we're better off actually using our bare hands than trying to dig with an axe. Same thing for a pickaxe. Pickaxe is a little bit faster, but the shovel is the fastest to get through the dirt. Well, it looks like we've come across various ore types. Let's get out of here. So you click here, and then that gives you a cooldown. If you do the complicated crafting, you can just click one button. You don't need to wait. That's a nice thing to know. All right, let's get this. I think this is tin, right? Yup, tin. Basically useless. You also find these various crates. There we go. Now we're seeing some crates. And these big... This is the... There we go. This is kind of what the geology in this game looks like. Alright. Let's open up some crates. I think this is iron. I believe it's iron. Yes, iron. Let's open this. Ah, it's messing me up. Saplings don't go there. Torches go there. I'm very OCD about how things are set up in my games. All right, let's open this one. Let's just punch it open, I guess. All right. What did we get? We got a nail. We got a papyrus. Pipe pop. I always read it. Not, pap not papyra. Pyrus. I'm sure someone will correct me. That feels very strongly about my pronunciation. It's the plant you use to make trees. 
not trees, paper. All right, let's get up here. There's another kind of crate up here. The better one, in my opinion. This kind of crate, let's open this guy with this, has better stuff in it normally. So we got a ladder, and that one didn't have very much good stuff in it. Let's dig right over here. Let's open this, and as you will see, night is coming. And I would rather not die. It may happen, though. We shall find out soon. All right, so. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. So, first things first. Let's quickly craft ourselves shelter. Oh, no, you don't. far out can I go? This far? Okay. So, have a bit of a complication here. Let's set this there. Set that. Can we not set that there? Why can't I set that there? Alright, this cannot reach any higher than this, so getting rid of this requires that stunt. No, no, no. We want to we wanna leave the wall there. And as you can probably figure out for yourself right now, your first time you set down a block, you... The first time you set down a block, it's setting down in the background, and then, and then it sets down in the foreground. This is a bit of a sticky situation, though. Because... I neglected to craft myself a weapon. Let's do this. Get out of my way. Now, a good demonstration. When you enter into your inventory, the world pauses. Definitely a nice feature. Comes in handy, especially if you're crafting. So it's like, oh no, he's going to get me. Nope. Let's craft a chest really quick. Can we craft one of these yet? Yes, let's craft one of these. That'll let us sleep through the night. Okay. Okay. We're about to get landed right on top of. Let's go here and craft ourselves a sword. All right, where'd he go? Let me at him. Let me at him. Get him out of here. You too. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So, next, we need a hammer so we can move stuff unless we can can we pick this up yeah you need a work hammer to be able to break that so you need to make a, a work hammer not to be confused with a stone maul you need a stone hammer the maul is actually a, a weapon that you use to attack with so that's the importance of that so now we'll pick this guy up how much we need a little bit more a little bit more wood to finish the house that I have started to assemble and I don't even know I'm wasting time chopping down that tree there's nothing that's gonna happen with that that's for sure all right go and let's seal ourselves in here tada we are now relatively safe but also trapped with a bird friend birdie right, let's let's close this up here Oh my goodness, really. All right, let's get this. Let's get this out of the way. And I don't know that it's 100% true cuz I'm not very good at closing up my houses, but a well-lit area you tend not to have problems with NPCs spawning inside when your spot is well lit up. Let's craft a shovel and give our new hovel a floor. Whoop. I rats. I didn't want to make one of these. This is a waste. Oh, we, we don't have any stone. Oh, that's a pain. I don't like this floor. I have a what? Get out of here. Who said you could come into my house? It's because we got that tree part for a roof. That's what it is. Alright, come here. Come here. I don't want anything to do with that, actually. We're going to go back down this way. 
Gonna go back down this way. Gonna delete this awful shovel. Get out of here. Get out of my. Get out. Of, get go. No. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Can't reach that. Can't reach this. All right. Uh oh. Okay, that's an okay place then. Let's dig here. There are also different kind of breakables, as you can see right here. I like breaking them with my shovel. We are now very low on torches yet again. Welcome to the destructive cycle that is my casual playing on Junk Jack. Should be a little bit less of a pain there. Yay, an apple. Break that. Let's get enough stone that we can at least set a couple more things up. You'll also notice that I'm not too concerned about these little guys. Typically, when an NPC is very small, it's going to be a, a critter of one sort that you don't need to worry about trying to bite your face off. Although the bigger ones, you should be, be aware of. Now, by now, if you are used to this game, you should be flinching about how low my health is. That can be fixed by eating stuff. So by eating apples, we then have restored some of our health. Also, you'll see save game every time you enter into the pause. Okay, you, 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 and you. Perfect. Have a, have a modern looking house here. Oh, I should have gotten rid of the background first. Fine, I'm gonna ignore that I have mud there. All right, let's build ourselves a door. Okay. Door goes here. Door goes here. Now we have some semblance of protection. And the night's over, which means that I didn't get to demonstrate the bed. Oh, that, now we got to demonstrate the bed. There you go. Going to bed also brings your health back to max, so I shouldn't have eaten those apples. Oh well. Then you have a chest here, and you can do the quick stacking. I shall demonstrate it. You can just click and drag stuff in, or you can say we have this and we have that. And let's put those in there, and let's put that in there, and we'll put that there. We click here, and we're just like, ah, oh, go in there. It's all in there now. No more worries. And we have these. We should make another chest, but we don't have enough yet. We should. Oop. Come here. Come here, you. Show you, you spider. Get out of here. All right, we're going to need more cobblestone because I currently used all of my cobblestone to build the floor. So we're going to mine this here. We're going to need enough cobblestone to build a furnace. Here's a nice use of water as an elevator to go up and down. As you can see, you're drowning in certain parts where I'm standing now at this incline. I'm not drowning. As soon as I step into this, you get this blue overlay effect, and then I'm drowning, and the count bar slowly ticks down. So if you're really creative, you can use water as an elevator. And not just water, liquids in general. It's just that anything that's not water might hurt you in addition to slowly drowning you. Do we have enough? Seven? How many do we need? Let's go back here. It's about to be just a couple short. Let's get a couple extra just for good measure. This is a good demonstration for how the water affects. So it stays wide, doesn't redirect unless you specifically cut off that part there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I regret my decisions. Come here, birdie. I feel remorse for my actions. But this is basically what you do to the ambient creatures. This is the extent of hunting in this game. You kill them for their stuffs. We will now prevent any... Nope. Let's replant all these. That way they come back. Don't worry about how spaced out they are. Doesn't matter. Let's fix the hole in the roof. 
hold is now fixed. Let's build a forge. We've about covered everything that a beginner would possibly need before jumping into this game. Now there are a couple more simple things to explain before we continue on to a little bit more advanced stuff. And at this point, some people might want to choose to leave. Well, hold that thought after I explain this. So you'll see here this ticks. It, mm, I don't know, I would have needed it explained to me. I didn't notice that that's the forge symbol. This is how long it burns. So coal works well, wood works well. There are other materials that you can burn in addition to that. You can cook meat. So for example, let's put that in there. Let's do that. The meat is being cooked and we are burning wood. Not the most effective way to do it, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. So now let's put the iron lump in there. One iron lump equals one ore for the most part. Also, you'll notice now that this gives you 2.5 health instead of just the one. So th that makes it significantly better. Let's toss that in there. Okay. And then of course the progression as it goes you need to make all these benches the next bench that we would want to make would be an anvil and to make an anvil we need three iron ingots and a stone in such an order oh we're out already let's just put all the coal in there actually wait let's use these ones for torches I don't know why. We're about to switch over to another game. And talk about crafting theory and stuff. Alright. Craft one of these guys. Craft that. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bang. And we've pretty well set up. Now there is... Oh, that's right. I was like, wh where do these come from? I was like, oh, that's right. I inherited all of my recipes when I made the new character. Normally, you don't have this many recipes when you start out, but they were all inherited because of my existing character already. I have this cool collections tab. Did I inherit that too? Yes, I did. I've got one pet. One pet that just kind of dropped. All right. Not sure what else... Let's make, I don't know, make an iron shovel. Can we do anything else with iron? Can make a nail. Nine nails. Nah, let's not do that. If you wanted to make an iron shovel, you would need to go over here, make more sticks. Stop, go back. You. Alright, so as you can see, you can't make iron an iron shovel by hand. You need to be at this. You go and you craft it like so. And now, ta-da, you have an iron shovel. Which then will last longer and shovel faster. So, to demonstrate, ta-da. Might not seem like whizzing speed yet, but eventually it does get pretty fast. It does take a while though, and that's kind of part of the gripe that I have with Junk Jack, is that getting started feels really slow and tedious, and then progressing also feels slow and tedious when you are trying to hoard materials like I tend to do. I made iron stuff even while I was picking up mithril uh, ore. So part of that's just on the way I played the game, which was suboptimal. As soon as I switched over to being like, okay, let's just equip the best stuff that I have, then I was in good shape. There's one last thing to talk about, and it is armor. Let's see if we can craft these. Nope, we can only craft one, the bucket. So you have here two slots. This is your fancy wear. This is your armor wear. So if you put the, fancy, the armor wear in here, it's not going to actually do you any good. It's your vanity slots. This gives you, I assume, 2% armor. 2 and 1%, 1% on something else. I looked up on the wiki at one point what those stats were. Kind of irrelevant. It's better than nothing. And ta-da! Now you have yourself a b brown bucket on your head. Beautiful. Not not particularly good stuff, though. Alright, let's just slap that in there. And I've had about enough of this. 
This is super slow going. The way you mine down, depending on how you want to mine into the ground, you can go the way that allows you to get back out, which some people would be like, well, of course that's what I want to do. Why would not Why would I ever mine in any other direction other than making in zigzagged S shapes the entire time that are as high as I can jump? It works. It's slow going. This is the bottom of the world here on a, a regular or maybe is this a tiny map regular spawn map this is how far it is if you go to the right it doesn't go infinitely it loops back when do you go to the right or the left and you'll eventually end up here but as you explore there's a bunch of stuff surface wide i would suggest exploring the surface of the planet first getting the boxes destroying the boxes getting your free resources then coming back here typically on a normal sized planet it'll take you an entire day so you'll need to fight yourself in the in the darkness but you know worth it when you die in normal where'd you come from when you die in a normal game whatever you have on you is dropped so to demonstrate that let's grab these and drown which is actually something that would terrify me you won't lose any of the items that are in your slots you will lose whatever you are carrying so we'll just hang out down here. We'll just, you know, hold our breath and stuff. If you're playing on a hardcore character, you die once, you die for good. Just, you know, in case you don't know what hardcore means. The health slowly ticks down. I think we'll get an achievement for the first death as well. Once you surface... Oh, here we go. Once you surface, you would breathe... You'd breathe air, and so that would stop the process. Two. One. Ah! Blast off! Death. It's time to die. Respawn. So, you'll notice now our inventory is empty. But we didn't lose anything that's in our active slots. If you're about to go on an adventure, my recommendation is don't keep anything in your inventory. Keep it on your slots down here. You have more than enough. Now, you can recover it. Stuff will eventually decay over time. Also, if you teleport to other planets, you lose whatever is on the ground so it doesn't stay across planets. But that's for the advanced section, which we are about to move on to. So let's exit over here, switch to this character, and yeah, this will be the warning, the separation part that if you... Uh, want to experience Junk Jack without seeing any further progression? I think I've given you a pretty good basis. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. I am generally really good at getting back to people that have questions. If I won't, somebody else tends to. So, you know, even if, I don't know, I disappeared or something like that, people would eventually get back to you. But, like said. So, we're going to move on now to the advanced section. Assuming that you're sticking around to see this. So let's move on to the Atra verse. I was busy crafting these because the achievement that I'm working on right now is this one. Crafting 50 metal chests, which I'm getting pretty close. I'm still a ways away. I'm crafting copper ones because it's less cost effective. So while you're exploring, let's go back to a familiar looking planet. While you are crafting, while you're crafting, exploring, and building, you will come across portal stones at the bottom of the world. These portal stones, you need three of them, you put them together, and then you teleport to another planet. At this point, this place should look quite familiar. Also, we switched over to the advanced one. Right, this is now the advanced crafting, where now I can craft in whatever order I want. For example, I pop an item there, and then I'm just like, let's just pop these here. Why doesn't this craft anything? Hmm, I wonder why. So let's go here. This is where I started on my world. As per usual, I have done a number on it in many ways crafted multiple benches instead of moving all my benches y you you get you get you get the idea you get the idea i have explored a lot of it i actually made the entire plane here flat all the way around this is the type of shenaniganry that i get up to when i'm left to my own devices now you know why i've been playing this game for so much also by the way the gear that i'm currently equipped with this is the best stuff that i can get in the game right now that i can craft anyway 
um, Metal Gear based. So I've upgraded to these, I've upgraded to these tools, so you're about to see whizzing amazing magic stuff going on here. So we need to find ourselves more teleporting stones. I do have all the teleporters set up here that I've found so far. There's a uh, progression as you explore and you get stones from this planet. There's a certain number of teleportation stones that you can find here to certain worlds. You gotta go to those worlds and then get teleportation stones there. You assemble the portals and then you go from place to place to place until you unlock all of the different areas. Now there are a couple different ways you can do it. As you can see, I kind of did a whole zigzag thing my first time through and then I zigzag there. I hadn't discovered the way that I like to explore yet. This was my first attempt at it, and this is the one that I would recommend that you do. But there's a couple things and a couple hazards that you need to keep in mind. In a lot of games, digging straight down is bad. In Minecraft, that's the first thing that you learn. Don't dig down. Digging down equals death. In this game, you can actually manage it really well because of the way that you can set torches. So, let's find a good spot to dig down. I like to go into an undiscovered area, so probably, yeah, that looks like a good spot. We have to run all the way over to, the, to those ladders, and then we'll dig down from there. And then we'll get to a, wait, did I set this up correctly? Let's see here, if I go down there, yeah, that'll show the, that way. This is before I got, this is the, the primitive way that I got around. I got much better as time went on. Also dropping down, pressing up before I hit the ground. That's how you do that. Wait. We're not zigzagging. Nope. We're doing this the lazy route. So let's pick a good spot here. Can we build one of these? Sometimes it's nice to build one of these. I don't have a nail. To build a wood bridge to put above this so that people don't die accidentally falling in, but oh well. Then this is my this is my approach. You will notice that I glow in the dark. Glowing in the dark is part of the gem upgrades that I have. That would probably require a video on its own. The short answer is that you can craft gems and then you right click on the gems. You like pick up gems, you have to have four of them. You craft them at the Tinker Station, you right click on that gem, and then you click the piece of gear that you want to enchant or augment or whatever they're calling it. These are recipes, you right click on them to discover them, and they show up in your recipe book. In this mode, I don't know if you can craft without recipes or not, but it's less painful. Typically a good approach to go is while you're going down is to try to leave torches in any dark cubbies, because then if something spawns above you, then it's not going to find a dark spot, find that, and then fall down below and fall on top of your face. But in areas like where there's no spots except for open air to spawn, I really haven't had much trouble. This is a spot that you should stick one. So we'll go down this way more. There's also another trick that's worth noting about this. We didn't start at the surface, but if you start at the surface and then dig down, you also have sunlight that helps you. So even if you don't have this... Not this. This. Not this. Not this. This. There. Even if you don't have that gem that, that gives you light, you will still get some light from having the above displayed. There we go. Get some coal. Now to demonstrate crafting it. So let's craft here. I like having sticks on hand. Ta-da! Much faster. Maybe not significantly in your eyes, but that was faster, and when you're crafting something big, that also becomes a whole lot faster. You'll notice that I keep my shovel and... Are these? I've never been able to get rid of these. I keep my shovel and my pickaxe on easy to access number keys. That's how I switch between them. I'm just going to ignore those and keep going farther. Get out of here. So I got to do this so they don't fall on top of me. So that's water there. Having any type of light lets you see one block underneath you. So if you're concerned at all about falling into traps, you can then drop stuff around you. By dropping stuff, I mean dropping torches around you. 
you go down, you discover ore, you grab the ore, you drop a torch, you grab that, and you keep going down. Also, I completely forgot to mention this earlier. If you, it's inconvenient about having your weapons and tools breaking on you, but you can stack them. So once this stack breaks, it'll renew because I have two pickaxes here of this quality. Make it a whole less painful to work with. Get out of here. All right, let's go keep going down. We should be getting pretty close to the center here soon. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. As you're going down, pro tip to be t tapping your map key to try to figure out if anything's around you. The portals, which are these, glow in the dark, so they're pretty easy to spot. Let's see if I can get a clear shot across. Here's an example of, okay, it's too dark to set a torch. Set a torch here, set a torch here, set a torch here. Now you can see what you have down there. So digging straight down does not have any consequences. Now jumping down into one of these spots after you die, that is a little bit more of a pain in the butt. And for that, I say keep a bucket of water. But we'll talk about that soon. All right, let's open this up. Oh, you think you can just throw stuff at me? I didn't know you could climb these bookshelves. Interesting. All right. So the only way you can get a hold of one of these guys is if you have a hammer. So you can't pick it up with this, you can't pick it up with that or with that. You have to have a hammer. You break it, you get it, and then this is a type of portal. You need to get three of these. This is for Umbra. Umbra portal piece. I've left one area completely unexplored so that I can just show what it's like to j what I what I do when I get onto a new zone, a new portal, new planet, however you want to call it. Okay, I don't want to jump down there. It's a bit of a pain. You'll notice that this has farther reach. The upgraded tools have farther reach than the initial ones. All right, I think I can make that. Yep. And I don't feel like going down there. The looks like a chest with a key. We'll worry about that another time. Is this gold? Nope, just copper. Wasted time. All right, let's go this way. So even I need to be a little bit careful to make sure that I don't die from just jumping into something. Well, this is water. I could have done that. Oh, well. Here's an example of gems. We got three. Three? I can't count. Two emeralds. Let's just put those there. Oh, no. That's not light from, from a portal. And then we keep going. I think that's silver. Oh. Ball number seven. These are treasures if you look at your collection and these. So I've got a three ball, I've got a seven ball, and then it shows how many of these I've found. I don't know if these are actually useful for anything. Oh man, I have these hidden away in a chest. I thought I was gonna use them someday. Thought I'd make an ultimate weapon, but it looks like they're just collectibles. Oh, those are diamonds. Three. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Ooh, we get to show one of those. That'll be worth showing. So as you explore, you'll come across many great and glorious things. Let's check this out. What's in here? So you need to have a gold key to get in there, which I've just recently discovered that you can craft them. So that's useful. I thought I had to find them by getting one chest to another chest to another chest. Do we have enough for this? We have four. So we could craft that. Hey, get out of here. I'll show you. All right. And let's give myself a bit more space. All right. Even I get a little bit nervous about activating these. So. As in the past, you can't do anything with this, you can't do anything with that, or with that. The only thing you can do something with is a hammer. I knew the first time that I tapped on these, I was going to be in trouble because the whole screen shook. And I was like, uh oh, I don't think I'm going to like what's coming. After you destroy this, a boss spawns. And a boss is a significantly tougher NPC to fight. If you're going to take on a boss, having good gear is quite important. And having food is even more important. Having enough food that you can just eat your way through whatever is happening is the most important. Remember, the game freezes or pauses when you open up your inventory. So if you need a few seconds, you're watching your health go down, 
open the inventory, right click a couple times, and then you get it back. But enough talk. Let's just jump into this. Here he is. It's a demon. Go, 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 go. I try to deal with. Okay, let's do that before I die from it. I try to deal with his bat minions first, which seems to be a common theme that they have. Come on, come on. Alright, I'm not going to dodge around that anymore. Now with the bats dead, now we can kind of just control this person by smacking them around. Again, you notice I'm, I'm not using, I'm using a mithril sword, I'm not using a galvium sword, which means I'm playing a little suboptimally. But you'll notice that even with this one, which this, you can't get mithril in this, in this world here. Mithril is unobtainable. It's only in the next world. Like if we went to, I think Umbra probably would have mithril. You can't get it. You can't get mithril in. I think this is called Terra. Would you? Would you please get on my level? Or stay a level below me? I don't really care which it is. So you'll notice I try to stay a spot away from him so that he does less damage to me. Then I pause as my health goes down. Then I eat a thing of hamburger meat. You can craft better foods that will then give you better stuff. You can pick up bandages, loot potions, craft potions. You have a lot of options to you. I actually have a regeneration that's going on there as well. And ta-da! Now we've got... Is this sword better than my current sword? It's actually pretty close. <laughs> I don't know what some of these what some of these icons mean. Oh, let's get this. All right, and we'll now continue on down, going down. You get stone essence, which essences are used for crafting higher st level stuff. You'll notice that it ha each item has like a description next to it in parentheses. I use that to organize them personally. Comes in handy. I also am a stickler, and I don't tend to use items that I pick up. So yeah, this is a little beam sword thing. I wonder if it's longer than this one. It's a little bit longer, so this one has a little bit farther range, it seems, which would make it a little bit better than my current sword. But am I going to use that? Nope. Let's continue on our journey downward. Oop. Let's open this one. That's a higher level chest, by the way. It's always a pain to run into these ones because you can't do anything about them. Let's drop down here. We're almost to the bottom. I'm going to need more of these. Crafting, crafting, crafting. Give me crafting. Crafting, yes, you. There's crafting. I've gone insane. Oh, can I craft that way? That's interesting. Can I craft this way? I can craft that way. I can craft all those ways. Let's drop all the way to the bottom. Just a wee bit more. And then you will see why I carry a bucket of water with me. Ta-da. Bedrock. You can't get any farther down than this, no matter what you do. So I carry around a bucket of water just for such an occasion as this. So now say I was running along and I fell into this hole, or I wanted to come back down here to find something specific at this part of the level. Now I can jump off of this point, fall straight down into this water. If I get knocked to the right or the left from an NPC or something, then I could probably die. That's never actually happened though, and I've been using this method of transportation for some time now. Okay, good. So now we need to go to the right until we get to this spot, which connects to the rest of it. Kind of a pain to do that, but that's the fastest way out, rather than digging ourselves back up in a method that you've already seen, making zigzag shapes. It's not exactly the most brilliant way to get back. Typically while I'm playing this I'm gonna be I'm watching YouTube videos or I'm watching movies or listening to podcasts or listening to videos or I'm I'm really doing anything other than mining, which 
thank goodness I'm using a Galvian pickaxe because this took forever with just iron. And you eventually start rolling in the materials. Speaking of rolling in materials, the final planets, the final worlds that you get to are rich in whatever minerals that you're trying to get a hold of. And they don't have any more portal slots. Or anyways, that's what I've noticed. Let's climb all the way up here. I forgot that that was set up that way. Can we go up this way? Yeah. Rather than going all the way around here, let's just climb straight up here. One less headache to worry about. This guy is worth killing. He might drop good loot. Look at him bounce. He is an agile fool. Let's jump here. This set of gear also lets me jump higher. So if you've noticed that, it lets me jump higher than I was jumping on the other character. And it lets me move faster as well. Basically, with this gear, this game feels good again. It, I was kind of not feeling it. And then I picked up this gear and I was just like, nah, nah, I'm feeling it. Enchanted the gear. Set myself up. Felt like I got a lot of good stuff. Get out of here. Who said you could chase me? And this, oh, this path. I've taken this path oh so many times. Taken this path oh so many times before to get back to where my main house was. Mm, this crazy jump. Oof. Still can, I can still make that jump. I don't know how I can make that jump. It's a crazy jump. Get out of the way. I can jump higher now. There's a spot in there that I want to explore, but there's no point to it. And now we climb the longest ladder I've put down here. I was eventually going to make an entire ladder all the way down. I got the, uh, the ladder achievement really early on, actually. <laughs> I didn't get it nearly as early on as placing the platforms, though. Or the bridges, if you will. Because I crafted bridges in between different sections. So, yeah. I craft. I made the, got the bridge crafter placer one before anything else. Then you run through here. You spam this button. I don't like any of these. So, we're going to run over here to where I was going to make the grand vault, but I think I might just designate another planet for where I'm going to put the vault. I was going to make a huge vault of just chests in here. Then I discovered that you can make better chests that have tabs rather than just being limited to what we have here. So this whole area is grossly oversized for what you probably need. But that's just what I do. I'm a Tratsu. I make stupidly big projects that everyone's like, what are you even doing? And I'm just like, that's right. Nobody can know what I'm doing. And this is how I sort my stuff. I go here and I trust that I have taken the time to organize everything in the way that it should be. There we go. Got another stack of that. Get back in there. Put that there. Nope. Put that there. Nope. Put that there. Yup. Got a portal. Okay, let's see here. We got acorns. We have you. We have you. Just eat that sucker right now. Rose, heart. I don't even remember where I put those anymore. It's been so long since I've been on this planet. No? Wait. Three ball. Seven ball. Ta-da. Beautiful. Alright. Don't tell anybody, but I'm going to put that crap in there. You promise not to tell? Because we're, we're not telling anybody about that nonsense. And that acorn. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Let's just put that guy there. I don't feel like walking all the way around. That's how you know I've truly become lazy. And then let's pop that acorn in there. Alright, the rest of this we should be able to take care of in the main teleporting area. I sometimes watch the animation here and it's just like fascinating to watch these feet run because it's just like 
It's like he's dancing in one direction. His feet aren't moving forward, but it's also like an optical illusion that his feet are moving. Put that in there. Let's write the copper there. Let's just, who cares, slap that in there. Is this done? Perfect. Let's get an achievement. Okay, let's put you there, you there, you there. By the way, I'm right-clicking to split. That's that's how I'm doing this. Oops, wrong way. Let's click it across there. Oops, nope, that was the right way. Right, we need a tinkerer's. Wait, no, just a workbench. All right, let's look for the achievement. Here it comes. Pretty soon here. It, it's going to happen because I've already crafted some of these. So it's going to be before... Is it 40 or 50? Wait. Okay, let's grab... Do I have another bar? I do have another bar. How many of these? 50? Should have that by now. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll grab these for just in case. Okay, let's grab those guys. Four. This is an awful waste of materials, but I want to get the achievement. Any second now. Seven more. There it is. Craft 50. So I didn't need to craft that many. I just should have crafted that one last one. Get out of here. There we go. So you got to see that achievement that I got. That's what I've been working on this whole afternoon for the most part. And I was like, do I really want to record a video or do I want to just get these achievements? Now let's just toss this. Uh, forget that you're seeing this planet. Wait, no. Not this planet. This, no. That's not where I'm keeping these things. Mm. Keeping them here. Forget that you saw this planet. Mm. It's uh, unimportant. Don't worry. These are unrelated to other achievements that I was working on. Don't worry about that planet whatsoever. So the first planet that I got was this one. Each planet has its own different theme and ecology and sometimes different portals that you can find. These ones down here at the bottom, these planets are kind of the first ones that I got. And then these ones up here are the more advanced ones that have higher level resources and stuff like that. They're the ones that you're supposed to spend more time on to get higher level materials and stuff. These are all my benches. I actually haven't learned how to use some of these. I've used all these ones over here. I just crafted these two today. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they how they work yet. This is Halloween area. This is under the sea. This is Egypt. This is... No, no, this is Halloween. This is the one that we got. because we just auto-sorted. There we go, Umbra. So Umbra portal. So if we wanted to go to Umbra, we would be like, huh, let's craft a portal. So to craft a portal, you go, ka-cha, ka-cha. Oop, not far enough. Get back here. Ka-cha, ka-cha. You right click, and ta-da, it took me to this place. So if you found the other, other two pieces of the Umbra portals, you'd be able to go there now. That is not something that we're going to be doing. We're not going to Umbra. Actually, I can show you where I feel like I kind of mastered. Where I mastered my route. Because I was describing how I would get around. So this is the probably the most painful planet to be on. Magmar? Mag Magmarus? What's this planet called again? The fire one. The end is near. Travel to Magmar. Like the Pokemon, will you survive? I did, but I died several times. It's fiery and hot. No air conditioning. So, the route that I take to get down, I zigzag my way down. Dig -dig 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 get down to the bottom. Drop the water. Actually, no, 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 no. I started here, and I was like... Then dropped water so I could just jump down after myself. All right? 
Then I went diggy 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 and climbed my way out. Okay. Then I went over here and then I just went. Now you'll notice I did have problems with this one. Um, so you can't re-return down this spot. It's not a straight shot because I didn't have a pickaxe. I had a mithril pickaxe. I didn't have the one that I currently have. There were some rocks I ran into that I couldn't do. So I can't follow this one down. This one will kill me. So I can't follow that down. There is a trick to getting down it though if I need to. And can I demonstrate that? I can demonstrate that. Just give me a sec. This other one though was a straight shot down. So a straight shot down into water right here. I ran into another spot. This is just unbreakable blocks in general. Drop down there. I then make my way down here, find as many stuff things as I can. This is typically what I try to do to find portals. I keep an eye out for any portals in the area. Then I make my way down to bedrock. And then I go all the way back here. And then I don't need to dig myself out again. I keep following this same route, which I get really, really familiar with as time goes on. All right, let's quickly grab a bucket of water. So... This moving water, there's no water actually here. It's an unfortunate facade. We'll take that. Eventually that lake will have no water in it anymore. Okay, let's go this way. Get out of here. Alright. So if I want to travel down a route that I normally can't go... I did discover a slow, grueling process of getting down, by which we go like so. We start it, and then we ride it down. And then we ride it down. We could go, we could go over to the side and wait a little bit, and then we can ride it down. And then we ride it down. And we keep riding it down. And at any point, I could get off this crazy train going on its way down. But right now, I'm wasting torches, and I want to pick them up. Is this a straight shot yet? Not yet. There's a way to stop this nonsense also if I want. Okay. Let's, let's stop this nonsense. Try to do this. Stopped it. But now we got to be careful about how we get off. Running to the right, made it. So, looks like we are at about the halfway point here. We wanted to get back as fast as possible, which I do. I don't feel like going all the way back there. Now we'll go to the right. This is a slow going process, which I think at. Uh oh! I'm not ready! I'm too young to die. Come, come on, come on. I need to come back to this planet with a bunch of keys crafted. Oh my goodness. Die slower, why don't you? I don't have that uh, I don't have that sword. Like said, this planet isn't very fun to explore. It takes forever to get anywhere. And the easiest way to get around that I've been here. I don't want to be. I don't want to come back to this planet ever again. Come on, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. All right, let's go this way. Drop a torch there. Nope. All right, we'll just keep digging to the right. Here's some more ore that I'm gonna blatantly ignore because I really don't care. This ore isn't worth it. The best ore is at the at uh, the bedrock level, because then you get the best chance of getting all your ore that you want. Uh-oh. Grumpy Slime is slowly catching up with me. Uh, it's a betrayal! Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? Any second now. Imagine doing this with a mithril pickaxe. That's like three tiers under what I currently have. Oh, it took forever. <laughs> Man, this would have been really useful had I known that I could have just like pressed up. Instead, I just treated them like bookshelves and I ignored them. Which way do we go? This way do we go? Get out of here, stupid wyvern worm. Oh, that's used to make a sword. 
if you have the recipe to make it anyway. Three of them and something else. I don't remember what it is. A gold handle or something. I don't know if it's any better than making a Galvium sword. I haven't compared stats on stuff yet. This is where your platforming skills, your 2D platforming skills comes into play. If you're good at your 2D platforming, you're good in general. Let's just keep stuff from spawning in there in the future. This is the stuff that it couldn't get rid of without Galvian. So that's why it took so many weird turns if you were paying attention to when the when the whole changed direction and where it was going. Yeah, I don't know what else I should really say about this game. I can talk about the achievements and the achievements that I've been working on and oh yeah, that's right. I I baited people with explaining that I'll ha I'll have to put for 200 and 250 hours into the game. Yeah, that I could just leave that on overnight, but that's just going to be racked up due to playing in general. This is where you get gunpowder. I'm going to need a lot of it cuz I'm going to need a lot of gunpowder for certain achievements. All right. Not much to show for this visit, but you know. Also, each each area that I go to, I craft a little bit differently. A different area, a different house. This is the snow area, and I want to show I want to show these off to everybody. Actually, um, this one didn't get finished, so it doesn't have a roof. And this is this area, and this is this area, because I was just like, huh, what else can I do? I'm running out of ideas, because stuff starts to kind of start to look samey after a while and I want to do something different each time because then it makes it more memorable when I go places. This was going to be like a haunted house looking thing but as you can see I never know how much space I'm going to need and so I leave it open ended. I'll eventually finish these out. This was one of the cooler ones that I did. I haven't explored much of this. I've only plunged in once. Then this is the one that I have not explored yet which I don't think we really need to explore. I've heard about it. You've seen enough about the game. You know, you've seen my method of getting down to the center. I don't. What you're gonna see at a higher level is that I just like take out the bottom here, and then I just chop down all the trees in the area, make a chest, plug everything into the chest, relocate the portals, yada yada yada. You get the idea. The extra portal pieces that I have, I will probably end up making like a portal network on each planet if I spend enough time playing this game. I've spent. 69 hours playing this game so far. So the achievements here, the longest achievement to get will probably be this one, which they insult me already with 250 hours. Get a life! Play for 250 hours! So, yeah, there, there's also some hefty ones like dying a thousand times. I haven't even died a hundred times. I have sadly died 10 times. I don't want to die. I try to avoid it as much as possible. Dying achievements aren't very hard, but getting one like, what one did, was I looking at that? These, this one's really bad. I think this is a thousand apples or something like that. It doesn't say how many. It's a ridiculous amount though. You have to like set up a farm and then keep on getting apples more and more and more and more. It's just, it's ridiculous. There's, it's gonna be a long one to get, even though it's the first one there. I thought I'd get it in just a short time. A lot of these are slaying achievements. The achievements are kind of broken down into exploration, free gimme, gimme achievements, um, getting to the top of the world, getting to the bottom of the world, playing for a while, multiplayer, slaying achievements, crafting bench achievements, crafting achievements. The crafting achievements, which I earned, those are all earnable by picking stuff up and setting them down. So to demonstrate that, actually, let's jump on my old character, the character that we have just recently made just to demonstrate that it's doable let's choose this let's go here let's grab not that the sun's gonna take too long don't i have the door mm. the sun that's all gonna require me to pick them back up Let's see here. Where did I leave that door? Oh, that's not an iron door. We could, of course, craft an iron door, put it down, pick it up five times really quick, and that would solve the problem. But I don't want to do that. That's not going to show what I'm trying to do. 
We're just gonna run this way. Don't mind me. It is the night. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna get through this. The coop looks different. There's the door. Come here, you stupid ham hammer. Hammer. Wait. You. Ugh. Okay. Better hammer, then. Do I have a better hammer? Nope, but I have this. The stuff I was specifically saving for this character. You also notice I accidentally made two shoes. Whoops. Mm, no, I don't feel like doing that. I've got another. I'm going to do another route. We're still going to get it with the door, but we're switching characters. Oh, perfect. How did that happen? All right, again, don't leave anything on the ground. Oh, there's that's where the heart stuff is. Thanks for reminding me, everyone. I appreciate that everyone kept track of where everything was. Oh, crap, I'm gonna need the, I'm gonna need this stupid hammer. Should have left the hammer here. Oh well, we gotta do it five times. Oh, never mind. We gotta do it once. Place an iron door. So you don't actually need to craft those. So for certain achievements, like this one, you just place an iron door. For a lot of these achievements, I got them in quick succession to each other. So place 50 gold blocks. I have 11. I placed them all down, and then I just did that five. I then I mined them back up, and I did that five times to get that. Then I had I don't know how many wood windows, and I set them all down in a row, and then I would speedily chop them all up and pick them back up again. And then I do the same thing for the vistas. It's a pretty easy one to get, and. A lot of the other achievements are loot based, so I didn't start working on. No, I don't have that one yet. Oh wait, I do have that one. Just crafting a, ta a taming collar. That's all you have to do. You don't actually have to go through the taming process if you don't want to. There's the encrusting achievement, and then that's the one that I just worked on. Yeah, you get the idea. You get the idea. At this point, this video has dragged on quite long enough. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Atratsu, and I will see you next time. Difficulty doesn't affect join multiplayer games. Different weapons do different damage types. You can choose the inventory or craft book by pressing escape. Some crafts can be done with different materials. Your character inventory is carried around the world. There are many game options. Check them out. I don't believe that that's actually updating how many fish are caught.